let us talk about in this video about the logical channels in the GSM as I said there is a different type of the logical channel which get radiated over the over the physical time slot and uh, when you say I mean uh, when I say means like there's a TRX and assume that this TRX is a BCCH TRX so in this BCCH TRX so remember this you have to use the frequency which you have allocated for the BCS BCCH band and the zero time slot of this TRX has to transmit the BCCH broadcast channels you know and uh, the, the uh, another time slot we will talk about later uh, and uh, assume that uh, we use this time slot number one for defining the SDCCH now let us talk about what is all this you know different type of the channel I mean there is a two major category of the time slot two major category of the logical channel one is the signaling right and other one is traffic channel right now in the signaling there is a one type of the signaling channel let me change the color that is the broadcast channels these channels uh, get radiated as a broadcast you know point to multi point so for example if this is your cell it has this kind of coverage for example if you're radiating on the, this direction then in the entire cell area you have a different user and the all users in the in the idle mode they are they are you know listening those broadcast control channel right so let us see under the broadcast you have a different type of the channel uh, so let me explain this the first is frequency correction channel so when you switch on your phone I mean your phone does not have any idea that where exactly you are and what what kind of frequencies are coming right so for you for you do uh, what you do I mean when you switch on your phone so let us see I mean the the uh, the kind of you know the flow so when you switch on your phone right so let's say the phone we are switching on so when you on your phone first time let's say and you you bring the sim card from one of the operator and if you if you switch on right depends on your phone capability it may be 900 megahertz or maybe 1800 megahertz or maybe 1900 or maybe 3g phone right so what you do i mean practically speaking it should uh, i mean depends on a phone you should go to the the best available technology i mean if uh, my phone is 3g capable then I must start scanning the 3G first. If I get the 3G, then I should try to register in the 3G network. And then, if not, then I jump over to the GSM. Then I will I will see I mean which band is available inside the band, which frequencies are strong. But let me simplify this discussion. We we are uh, let's say we are trying to latch on the 900 megahertz. So how it does? I mean, what what mobile does? Okay. So what we do here is we we scan all the frequency in 900 you know that means we have 124 different frequency right and then we see i mean which frequency has what kind of signal strength so let me say the size of the line is showing who is strong who is weak right and assume that this is the f3 frequency seems to be one of the uh, one of the strongest among the all and the f2 f1 is another next strongest right so what we do is i mean the first thing we do is we scan the frequency okay so scan the frequencies right okay after scanning what we do after scanning we latch on f3 frequency right okay because it is the strongest one right so i i try to tune my my receiver on f3 frequency but right now i don't know whether this frequency is the bcch frequency or it may be the tch tch frequency right so i don't know this frequency is a bcch or tch so how to know that i mean if this is the bcch frequency means if this this use for the bcch frequency then it must transmit 
the FCCH you know this is what so if this is the BCCH frequency then it, it is definitely it is radiating the FCCCH right and what is the FCCCH? FCCCH is is nothing but it is your you know there's no information inside but this is only transmitting the sine waves you know I can say it is like carrier frequency only right so this is a carrier frequency so if I get this kind of carrier frequency or this kind of information I mean which is not real information but this is just showing the CW signal right it is just like plain carrier waves so I can lock my my receiver on this frequency right so I understood that this frequency is is BCCH frequency right if I'm not getting the FCC uh, frequency correction channel on that particular frequency then it could be because of this frequency F3 which you found is the strongest frequency it, it, it may not true that it is it is BCCH so it may not be the BCCH but let us take for the simplicity we found this F3 is BCCH frequency and then this is what how we found we found that FCCH in this frequency carrier so after this so this I got the frequency now so I have tuned my receiver so I have tuned my receiver on this specific frequency because I found this is what FCC right this is what the frequency correction channel so this is what the first thing I did I mean after after scanning all this I put them into a descending order I I, I, I latch to the strongest one then I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that this is a BCCH frequency after that it is not enough you know you need to get synchronization now so there is where the SCH channel will come into the picture so here you try to open this information and you want to see what is the BSIC we'll see more about the BSIC BSIC is a combination of network color code plus base station color code I wanted to see what is the BSIC inside here then I wanted to see what is the frame numbers are going on because I just jump over in this cell and then I try to synchronize I try to understand this because I just uh, switch on so I don't know anything about where exactly I am standing and what is the sale is coming and I need to synchronize first so then I, I, I understand that after getting this two information now I am synchronized and I, I, I can now listen I can understand the multi frame of you know BCCH what is going over the zero time slot of the TRX so now the third thing you know first thing after I got the frequency then I got a synchronization now I will go and read the BCCH block okay. I will talk about this block and uh, the different information and the multi frame in the, in, the, in the next topic but so this uh, this one when I open this and when I read this uh, it is it is radiating in the air interface uh, different system information if you go to the drive trace and layer 3 message you will find there is a different system information you know like one two three you know and four this is all system information you radiate in the idle mode so when you are in idle mode you listen this one two three and four system information which is getting radiated over the BCCH block and this all information is having you know a detail about um, the, the 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 how you can access the network right so how you access the network means what power you should transmit how many crime uh, you can access the network if there is no answer from the base station right and uh, also there is uh, information about the cell identity you know is about the what is your location area what is your PLMN and all this right so what you do is you open this information then you find out your you know CGI and then you will see what is your MNC and what is your MCC inside and then you compare with your SIM card right because the SIM card has a home PLMN so you 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 see I mean what is you received from the network so you you got something from the network versus you check with your SIM right your PLMN and then you found it is not your if it is not your then you have to skip this frequency right then you need to go to the second best frequency and that is what the F1 frequency right so we have to skip the F3 we need to go to the F1 frequency right okay but let's say for simplicity we found this this is our uh, our our BCCH frequency so the both are equal and then uh, both are correct so we'll go to the next one now so uh, we 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 got that this is our uh, you know uh, our, our, our this is our frequency and this PLMN is belongs to us so now the fourth step now I need to go for the registration registration we call it as a location update 
right so let's say for the location update so now what happened I mean the first time I need to register myself you know then how I can access the network right so I need to go for the location update now the location procedure location update procedure we need to access now so when you access the network we have to access to the random access channel so this is only applying channel available when you when when you are idle now you try to access the network this is the only one channel available which you can use and access the network and you can inform the network that you want to access for some purpose here you can see your purpose is location update but here when you access you have to give a reference number because you have to take the token number here for example in the file you access the network you have to say channel request right you send the request for the channel then you are expecting so this is what the in the fourth step we have access and now the fifth we supposed to get the answer from the network right we supposed to get the answer from the network and that answer will come as as immediate assignment and that will come on access grant right? and in this access grant this network will inform you okay so the, the you have access for what location update right so you are looking for SDCCH so now the access grant will tell you at which frequency at what frequency which time slot and which sub time slot of of the of the SDCCH by 8 time slot SDCCH by 8 time slot you have to go and grab it and then you have to you have to go to that SDCCH for further authentication and ciphering so after that after you get this positive answer from the network now you can go to the now the sixth step okay now the sixth one you go for SDCCH now you are on SDCCH now when you run SDCCH this is bidirectional channel this is in uplink also this is in downlink also network will ask you some questions and you have to provide the answer then finally you get uh, you know authentication done then you get the ciphering done and whenever so let me write down here so whenever you are on SDCCH this is bidirectional channel right so you have a similar channel in uplink also you have a similar channel in downlink also right so okay let me explain you this SDCCH transaction in the next chapter I'll see you soon